You know, I actually, I get a lot of flack from people for uh, calling Einstein an idiot. And then I point out to them that I'm only quoting Nikola Tesla, who called Einstein an idiot, a fool, a beggar dra dressed in purple robes. Tesla said a lot of stuff about Einstein, so I'll remind those folks. And if they think they're smarter than Nikola Tesla, I would love to see their dozens and dozens of patents, or them revolutionizing the entire world and its electrical system. That's probably not going to happen. I'd like to point you to a video below, and I mentioned it before. Now, I made a video yesterday, uh, or the day before yesterday, excuse me, pointing out that the guy who invented the word proton was a psychologist with a, a wackadoodle mind. In other words, he was interested in, in chasing all sorts of uh, like telepathy devices and, you know, really fringe crackpot crap, right? So that's the guy that gave you the uh, term photon. It is. Um, I can actually roll back to his picture here. Yeah, Leonard T. Trolland. Here's the uh, knucklehead who gave you the word proton. A psychologist, okay? Not a scientist. Well, psychology is a science. Yeah, not really. It's like a pseudoscience. So this guy was a wackadoodle and gave you the proton. So let's talk about another person that people love. People don't know who Trolland was generally. Um, perfect last name for him. Richard Feynman. Tricky Dicky. Richard Feynman. Tricky Dicky. Please look at the video below. He's asked a simple question about what magnetism is. Now, it's okay not to know. But here's the great rub is that uh, people that think they know, but uh, they uh, pretend like they do know, that's an issue. And even worse than that, I'll forward you something that's irrefutable. And that is, within the delud deluded minds of uh, stupid humans, and many of those stupid humans are also people with great uh, acclaim, and they've written books, and uh, they have PhDs in some cases. I can guarantee you 100% that people that think they know the answers, they don't go looking for the answers to things they think they know the answer to already. You know, if you think you know the answer to 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? Well, which of course it is 4, right? You don't go looking for the answer to that problem, do you? You already know what the answer is. The answer is 4. The same is true of the rest of humanity. If you're fed bullshit and you believe that's the case, you don't go looking for the answer to something you think you know already. So look at the video and see if uh, Richard Feynman answers the question about what magnetism is. a British interviewer, and old Feynman wiggles in his chair, and he puts his hand on his head, and he makes an analogy of uh, about uh, some old woman slipping on the ice. He just twitches and wiggles like a worm on a hot plate. Quantum physics is a religion of bumping particles. I call it RPB, the religion of bumping particles. You ever watch a Star Trek episode? You know, it's like everything's like uh, we have uh, tachyon particles, time particles, and all these magical particles that are bumping into each other. And the answer to any problem in Star Trek was like a an antiparticle or some magic uh, mystical particle. <laughs> This is atomism. It's pure materialism. Everything in the world, in the universe, by the way, is fields, and fields are not particles. You cannot quantize a field, for example. You know, what um, if you only knew an animal by its uh, footprints or by its excrement but never seen the animal? No one's ever seen a field in principle. A field is only expressed in the four Maxwellian field equations as uh, vectors with change over a given period of time. In other words, a field by four Maxwellian field equations are only expressions of, over a period of time with a given vector, what is the change? Like this is how we defined a field. You, know, you didn't define a field. You, you defined an expression of change. You defined an expression. We got point A here, point B here, and the time that it took and the vector track that it took to go from here to here with X amount of magnitude over that given vector and given time period, that doesn't tell you what this is. It's like, well, this moved over here to here, and it exerted X amount of force on this when it ran into that. You know, we've defined it. No, you've defined things with changes over vectors in time. That doesn't tell you what a field is. So please watch the video from Richard Feynman. This guy is the god figurehead within quantum mechanics. I call quantum mechanics mushroom physics. Why is it mushroom physics? It's because it's about just like you treat a mushroom. You feed it shit and you keep it in the dark. That's kind of incorrect because that would assume that uh, the person that's feeding you shit and keeping you in the dark knows the real truth. 
but you know he's just feeding you something to keep you stupid but these people themselves are stupid what they're really doing is they're just uh, ex you know excreting out the same crap that they were taught this is the way it is and I'm gonna teach you this shit no that's not the way it is mushroom physics feed them shit and keep them in the dark um, that's what it is it's a religion of bumping particles this sort of crap only exists in academia well, sure, quantum means stuff. We have quantum computers. We have quantum... You know, the word quantum doesn't mean anything. I could say this is a quantum battery. I could say that this is a, a quantum iPad. You know, there's principles of quantum. The term quantum does not apply to anything in nature, and it is not in reference to any subject, capital S, you know, a subject, a noun, like a person, a place, or a thing, a noun, a subject, a principle, a noun. Quantum does not refer to anything. Have you ever even thought about that fact? Sure, is a, you know you you can't be right because we have quantum computers. Not that this is a quantum computer. Some of the really expensive, uh, cryogenically cooled computers. No, you know since I used to build computers and I know quantum computers are uh, what they call quantum computers are infinitely more complicated. I know for a fact that it, what exists inside there are circuit boards electrical impulses, resistors, capacitors, uh, memory banks. <laughs> the term quantum, please understand this, the term quantum does not refer to a noun, a principle, or a subject. There is nothing that is existentially and objectively so quantum. Here's a quantum battery, you know. It runs off a lithium hydroxide uh, combination, and there's a quantum flux that energizes it, and it has a really long battery life. I could imagine a battery from the future, right? I'd say, this is a quantum battery, folks. Really. Point to me to the part in this battery that's quantum. <clears throat> Point me to any part inside the quantum computer that is a quantum. The term quantum is a concept reified by academia, which has absolutely no existence whatsoever. There is no such thing as a quantum anything. Quantum X. Go find me that X. Well, quantum computer, quantum battery, quantum tunneling, quantum effect. These things don't exist. I can call anything quantum. When I sleep, I have quantum... Uh, I have uh, quantum visualizations. Oh, you mean dreams, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so those are quantum effects of consciousness. No, that shit is uh, electrical impulses going on in your your cranium inside that jello lump called your brain. That's not quantum. Any See, they ascribe anything and everything that's really obscure and obtuse. That's quantum. No, it's not. Everything in the universe is fields, is electrical, magnetic... Everything works off of force and motion, inertia and acceleration. Mother Nature, Mother Nature's never heard of the shit called quantum. It doesn't exist. These people are atomists, first and foremost. You know, if you don't know what an atomist is, or atomism is, you need to look it the hell up. The Greeks destroyed atomism thousands of years ago, but as it, atomism has raised its ugly head again. Atomism. Go find out what the hell the word atomism means, because a lot of you probably don't know what it means. It's materialism. It's a little bit more complex than that, but it's atomism. It's literally RPB, a religion of bumping particles. <laughs> that's all. That's what it is. What does the word quantum mean? Quantum, quantity, i.e. phenomena, i.e. materialism. Quantum is, by definition, the word atomism, materialism. Do you understand that? Quantum, quantity, materialism, phenomena, i.e. atomism. It literally is a religion of atomism. Everything is part. These people, in their own books, talk about virtual photons. They, they literally believe and state outright in their own books that uh, mag what's going on, it's like what's happening, uh, you know, uh, the flow from one side of a magnet to the other. Oh, that's virtual particles. Really? Have you ever observed these things? Or virtually? Yeah, no, we haven't, no. But it makes the math balance out when we do equations. Really? This is what Tesla meant by thinking deeply yet being insane. That's Nikola Tesla's direct quote. There are those that think deeply yet are quite insane. This isn't my idea. These are these idiots' own words. Virtual photons, virtual particles. Virtual! Why don't I just stick in the word unicorn and leprechaun? 
You know what? What's happening on a magnet? Oh, there's little miniature leprechauns that are going from one side to the other. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, that sounds plausible. We've got the math to prove it, you know? Sure you do. Okay. Once again, have you ever seen or actually had the output of any experiment being a virtual... No, we never have. We've never actually witnessed a virtual... No. So, so your entire science is uh, built upon something that uh, no asshole on Earth has ever observed in any experiment ever. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Wow, that seems very, very plausible, intelligent, and a very wise uh, conviction. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Mushroom physics, folks. That is what quantum mechanics is. Mushroom physics. Feed you shit and keep you in the dark. Why, well, he's got a PhD. I mean, you're just a fucking idiot compared to that guy. I mean, look at him balance out those equations. Yeah, part of his equations are virtual particles, which are not the input or output of any experiment ever done in history, ever. They are phantasms. They are pure reified concepts. You know what a reified concept is? It's like teaching little kids that Santa Claus exists. And then they grow up, and like Christmas Eve, they keep, think, they keep thinking they're hearing Santa Claus in the basement. It's like, that must be Santa Claus. Like, no, it's mom and pop dropping the presents under the tree. A reified concept. Welcome to quantum mechanics. Please see the video from Feynman below. If you don't watch this video below that I give you a link to, and immediately realize that this guy, who is the cult figurehead of quantum mechanics, but the, this guy, if you insult him to his followers, he's dead now. They just, it's like you have, uh, you know, it's like you're a Satanist and you just walked into church and you just told everybody to start worshiping the devil. They get insanely angry. This is the religious figurehead of this movement of quantum mechanics. Watch the video if you don't immediately think instantly, like, this guy's a moron then you might need to re-examine what you understand about things, or at least how to critically analyze, you know, something that you watch or see or read. Please see the video below, and take a look at the cult figurehead of quantum mechanics. Try to explain magnetism. Watch him not only fail, but fail miserably to a degree that is almost unimaginable. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.